What we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to look at the relationship between addition and subtraction. Let's start with the top problem. 4 plus blank equals 10. If we start with 4x's and we add some in, how many will it take to add until we get to 10? Well, we start with 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can see that I added 6 for a total of 10. So 4 plus 6 equals 10. Now, this is kind of interesting here. If we start with this whole group of 10, like we do in 10 minus 4, and we remove 4, which would be subtracting 4, how many are we left with? And the answer is the 6 that we just added in. Now if we have blank plus 6 in the third problem here, to get to 10, how many would we have to add? And the answer would be that 4 that we just took away. As you can see, we're starting to identify a pattern, and that is that now when we solve the last problem, 10, and we take away 6, subtract 6, we're left with 4. So what we can see is that addition and subtraction are actually the opposites. They're what we call inverse operations. So if we're to add and we want to do the complete opposite, all that we'd have to do is subtract the amount that we had added in. It's something to pay attention to when you're working with measurement, um, because a lot of measurement problems actually relate directly to addition and subtraction.